Okay guys, so I'm not gonna start this video off with a joke because it's a pretty serious video. And the point of this channel really is learning from what an idiot I've been. And the best thing I think I can do to help new entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs coming up or even entrepreneurs at my same level or above is broadcast the mistakes I've made and the lessons I've learned. And this is by far one of the biggest ones. And it led to a huge shift in my life. And I don't wanna give it a funny tone. And also, if I word this very incorrectly, it's going to rub a lot of people the wrong way. In fact, this video probably will uh, rub a lot of people the wrong way because it's about why I completely exited the make money online beginner niche. If you go and look at my website, you look at Hyros, I don't sell a single product to beginners anymore. There is no way you can access products that are marketed towards beginners, beginners starting a business. And I did that very, very intentionally. And just to make sure my butt's covered with that statement, guys, there might be a few links laying around where you can purchase my courses in the past and whatnot. You can also still access memberships that you purchased in the past. I'm not saying you can't access products you bought in the past anymore, or there isn't an odd link laying around the internet. I found every single one and I took them down so people can no longer buy access them. You can still access anything you bought in the past. I left a business that was generating me millions of dollars per year. I didn't exit, I didn't ask for a buyout, I just left it. And I want to explain why I did that and why I transitioned to only selling two products right now. And neither of these products focuses on beginners or making money online or starting a business. The two products I sell are Hyros, which focuses on ad analytics for very, very high ticket influencers, people that are running businesses and agencies. And then my Iron program, which only focuses on working with businesses that are already generating substantial revenue and helps them basically connect their business to YouTube ads. If you're a beginner, you won't even have the chance to buy those products. If you're looking to start a business, you cannot buy those products. And I do that for a very specific reason. Um, that I want to talk about in this video. And it's going to take me a few minutes to wrap this up. And I think if you're a person that wants to start a business, you're thinking about buying a course to make money online. Uh, if you're a person who maybe even sells courses, I think you need to give me the time to understand this because if you don't understand this, you're going to make so many mistakes that I made. You're going to get trapped in the things that I, I really think are just going to negatively impact your life. And you're just not really going to understand how to help people in general or help yourself. And if I had had a video like this, it would have saved me nearly a decade of my life. I'd be substantially wealthier. So if you can't dedicate five minutes here, that's just a shame because you really should put your career in front of a Taylor Swift video. So this video is going to have two parts. The first off is career wise, why I got out of make money online. It's going to talk about the business part of it so on and so forth. The next was going to be about the make money online niche. And I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I'm not going to go with the tone of like exposing make money online gurus that other people do to get views. I'm simply going to talk about how the niche works and how you should understand how it works and really the things I don't like about the niche and I don't like the way it's trending. And I'm not making this video to call anybody out. I'm making this video to just talk about the problems and talk about how exhausting it is fighting these problems in a niche. So if you're a customer, you understand what you're getting into in a niche. And also if you're a seller, I think you should really take these things to heart and make sure that if you're going to be helping people start a business or make courses that teach people how to make money online, really understand the challenge that you're truly getting into and the levels you need to hit to actually provide something that delivers results and actually helps people. And so that being said, let's just first begin. Part one, I wanna talk kind of just about my career. Let me just recap what was uh, going on. So in the past, you might have noticed I had lots of make money online videos, uh, basically tons of make money online ads. I sold a very, very profitable make money online course and had a whole kind of repertoire about how to start a business. And these businesses, they were great businesses. They made a lot of money generating me millions of dollars per year. And at HCOM in our businesses, the results we deliver were people and the amount of effort we put into it. That's something I can be very proud of. We changed a lot of lives. We made multiple millionaires. We made lots of people, hundreds of thousands, multiple hundred thousands dollars per year. And I think out of any other courses online that actually cared about getting customers results, we're definitely in the top 1% of that. And the amount of focus and energy we put into that, the amount of communities we built, I'm very proud of. So I'm not here saying like, oh no, I should, these courses, I don't like selling them anymore or something like that. That's not what I'm getting at at all. The mistake I'm more so trying to point out right here that I see a lot of people make is that I was staying in this business model because it was very profitable. It was very, very profitable for me, but it wasn't fulfilling me. This was not the trajectory 
that I wanted my life to take. And I was getting more and more locked into it. And it was taking away from my overall dreams, my overall enjoyment of life. And because my view on business and my understanding of business was so limited, I thought the point of building a business is to make money. So you don't just leave a business that's making money. That was leading me down the wrong path that actually would make me the lowest amount of money long term. And really cutting me off from my greatest joy in business, which is creating things. And I think if you don't spot this in yourself, it's so easy to fall into this for decades or your entire life. It took a huge, almost mental breakdown for me to go, whoa, this is not the direction I want to head in. This is making me miserable. For example, if you go and watch an interview with Shama Pali, I'm not going to say his entire name. I'll, I'll link to it below the video. I always mispronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try. But he was one of the old execs at Facebook. He left because he wasn't really happy uh, with his job there. And then he went and started a investment firm or a venture capital firm. And he actually has a better track record of investing in Warren Buffett. And he made it as he was doing so, it was just making him miserable. And the reason why he was doing this is because he was focusing on the money and the material and all the things that came with it. And then he stopped recently doing that. And, and what I'm pointing out here is this applies to any level of what you're doing. Focusing on business just to make money is going to destroy you. And actually long-term, it's the lowest ROI thing you can possibly do. And I'll explain it here in a second. But long story short, I realized this and I said, I went to my uh, co-founders at HCOM and I said, guys, I don't even want to buy out. I'm, I'm just... I'm going to go focus on the things I want to focus on. I don't want to try and drag this business now with some buyout or something like that. You guys own 100% now, I'm out. With all my beginner courses, with all my make money online courses, there's always this thing dragging me back. Like you can't shut down this business. You can't shut down this business. You have to keep working on it. I just stopped. I went and found all the sales material. I took all the ads down, just stopped it. And so the only thing I focus on right now is Hyros and Iron, which I already laid out what they are at the beginning of this video. And if you're watching this video or your usual watcher of this channel, you can't buy those things. Not because I'm doing some rare insider club thing only. It's not for beginners. It's not for people wanting to start a business. And frankly, I never want to sell courses or products or make a business that's focused around that ever again. I'm going to explain why here in a second. Full transparency, probably in the next six months, I'll probably have like a $9 a month membership on YouTube. And that might just be like a fun little YouTuber side business thing. It would mostly focus on like discipline and like lifestyle and like how to think as a person because that's what I think people actually need. They don't need start a business courses. I'll talk about that more when I get into the make money online section. But the reason why I never want to do that again is because that's not what I want my life to be about. I'm not, I'm not putting anyone down. It's in the make money online niche, but you know, I, I looked at past ads. I looked at past videos. I'm sitting there in front of a Lamborghini. I'm talking about how to make money, you know, and build businesses and, and just all sorts of hyperbole. And that's kind of what you have to do in that niche. But also at the same time, like this isn't something I'm pumped up about. This isn't something I'm like, this is amazing. And I'm frankly, I don't want that to be my legacy. I don't want to look back at 50 and be like, oh, so you were, you were a make money online guy. I'm not trying to sound egocentrical, but I think I have more gifts to give to the world than teaching people and dancing in front of a Lamborghini. I just think I do. And I think my time and energy can be used in a lot better way that I'm a lot more excited about and passionate about. And so you really have to think about in the channel, I constantly talk about how you dedicate your energy and where you put it at. And one of the things to ensure that you never reach your potential and you never make them, if you're focused on money, um, I actually completely downgraded my lifestyle so I, could, I would never have to focus on money again. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why um, I completely got rid of everything is first off for focus, but also there is absolutely nothing there's nothing financially in my life that can force me to do something I don't want to do. I can fully focus on whatever project I want, regardless of the money it makes. And so I'm not really money driven anymore and I'm not against making money. That's just, I, I know that that's, a, that's an illusion. There's no amount of money you can make that will make you happy. In fact, it will just trap and lock you into things. That being said, if you want to make as much money long-term, if that's your main goal, you have to be doing something you're truly absolutely in love with. If you want to deliver the best product, if you want to build the best company, if you want to build something great, you can't do it if your heart is not completely fully in it. You can make money in something your heart is not completely fully in, but you will never reach your Tom Brady, your Kobe Bryant-like potential unless you are absolutely in love with it. There's no way to stay working that long. There's no way to put in the hours. There's no way to put in the thought. There's no way to reach the level obsession that you need to get to unless you're absolutely obsessed with it. And frankly, unless you're absolutely obsessed with it, it's not worth it. Being a CEO of a company, being a 
uh, 12 hour day, 13 hour day entrepreneur, it stinks. It's not fun. It's not good. It's a really crummy job. Truly, unless you're in love with it, you have to sacrifice so much. You have to sacrifice seeing so much. You have to do all sorts of things you don't want to do. You have to take all these risks. You have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. You can never relax. You are constantly, constantly working. Again, there, there's things with your friends. There's relationships. There's having a, you know, a family. Things you're just going to constantly miss out on. And unless you're absolutely in love with it, it's not worth it. There's no paycheck that matters. And you can easily go build a business or reach a skill set level that makes you a million dollars per year without any of those things. And then overall, over a 10 year period, if you want to make the biggest, greatest, best thing, it has to be something you're in love with because that's the only thing that's going to keep you at your computer, or keep you at your workstation long enough. That's the only thing that's going to motivate you um, to work for the customer and your company and your team. If you're just doing it for the money, it won't keep you going because money isn't, it doesn't make you that happy after hundred K a year. It just won't. I was happiest I was happiest when I was starting my businesses and I just had a desk, a computer, and I was making good income, but I had nothing else. I literally just had a, a, a dinky, small apartment, computer, the place smelled bad even, and I was pumped all the time. And then when I'm making, you know, uh, eight figures a year, my business is blowing up, and I have a giant house, $400,000 car, like that, that did nothing for me. And it was just because the world was telling me, this is what should make you happy. This is what you should pursue. This is what success looks like. The world is very loud, but it has nothing to do with you. And it, what the world tells you you should like has nothing to do with what you actually like and what you'll actually enjoy. And so if you wanna build something great long-term, you gotta focus on the long-term stuff now. And that's why I shifted to Hyros, and then I have like a super side fun business where I only work with really, really successful business owners at Iron. And that's just fun, and that's a really good profit maximizer at Hyros that allows us to run ads more aggressively. And that's the whole point behind that. And I'm telling you right now, Taking that huge initial dump in pay, for example, I just, I just left. I said, no, I'm not doing this anymore. Income went like that. And I'm, I'm completely fine with that because it's the best thing I ever did because it allowed me to go and completely focus on Hyros. And now Hyros is taking off because all my focus was in it and I'm just able to work on something I enjoy every single day. That being said, the more you lock yourself into a money focused business, the more you get locked in, especially if you increase your lifestyle. Going and getting rid of all my stuff, it was so much harder than acquiring all of it. It was the most difficult thing ever, not from the pain, just getting rid of it and all the crap that society will throw onto you. Um, and then it comes with hooks that jag into you and you have to go through so much pain to get them out of you. And the thing is, I see so many entrepreneurs, they're stuck in businesses I know they don't want to be in. I know they don't want to be in it, but they have a lifestyle. They have uh, this reputation of being a successful dude. They have all these things that the world has slapped onto them to keep them locked into basically being like those people in the matrix where they're locked in and they're just constantly being drained. They have this house payment, now they have a car payment, now they have all these things. And so they have to stick into this, this business, which let's be frank, if you're an entrepreneur, 80% of your life is going to be spent working on your business. You're not going to be hanging out with your kids or doing anything. And so you're spending 80% of your time to fund these things that I know aren't going to bring you happiness and 80% of your time is spent doing something you're not completely fulfilled by. And you're gonna get locked into that if you're driven by money. And in the long run, over a 10, 20 year period, it's the most unprofitable thing you'll do because you'll never take it to that huge level. You just won't have the focus and drive and energy. And you only get a few shots. This is the last thing I wanna wrap it up with. You only get a few shots in life to take those big swings. From the age of 20 to about 45, that's when you have the energy to really be a startup entrepreneur. There's examples of people doing it after that, but really from 20 to 45, that's when you're going to have that energy to be doing 12, 15 hour days and going absolutely nuts. By 45, you usually want to be at the point where you at least have a business that's already on the upswing. To put this in perspective, a startup company, a true big swing startup company or a company you're trying to take to the moon, it usually takes about five years to fail or about seven years to really get going and, and hit an exit. This is the usual average you're going to see. So from 20 to 45, you have about three to four of these in the tank. That's about how many shots on goal you have. For example, I'm 31 right now, about to be 32. I got about 14 years left, 13 years actually. I have about two big swings left in my tank. That sucks. That's just ugly. That, that's... That's just depressing to think about. You know, Hyros and the company, if I do a company after Hyros, that, that's probably about it. I'm not going to be starting uh, a startup, you know, when I'm 50 years old. That's scary. That's scary. That makes, that makes you think a lot faster. So you really don't have time. The first 10 years from 20 to 
32. I really didn't take any big swings. I just kept taking these bunts that I knew would work out really, really well um, and weren't delivering me fulfillment. You know, I could have I could have built Hyros in this time frame already. I could have built another company like that in the time frame. But I didn't. You don't have time. You don't have much time to take these big shots. You don't have time to work on businesses you're not in love with. Of course, create some businesses that bring cash flow in your life, but you can do that very quickly. It doesn't take a decade. Once you then have that, go and take the big swings because that's over 10 years going to be the most profitable thing you never do. And so that's, that's one of the reasons why I just said, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. Long-term, this isn't the best move for me. Fulfillment-wise, this isn't the best move for me. Financially, this isn't the best move for me. And as far as legacy and what I want to do with my life, this is not what I want to do. This is just not what I want to do. I don't want to be the make money online guy. I don't want to be Ty Lopez. I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want to look at 16. Like, what'd you do with your life? Oh, I, uh, I made wolf mug ads. That's, that's not, I'm not, I'm not downplaying anybody that's in the make money online niche. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with what you're doing. I'm going to say, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. There's no way I was going to reach the heights in my life that I want to reach by doing something I don't want to do. It's just not how it works. I'd rather just be, I'd rather just go get a job, honestly, if, the, if that was my choice. Now, the next part I want to talk about that I say for the end of this video, and probably is what you'll find more interesting because people like drama on YouTube, is my big problems with the make money online niche and why I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. And I'm not, this isn't some expose video or me calling out the niche. It's just the state of how the niche is and... Overall, the message behind that is if you, if this is not your life calling, if you don't believe your life calling is to help people start businesses and you're not willing to dedicate your entire life to helping people build businesses, it's not worth it being in the niche because it's exhausting and you can't do the true service to the customer that they need for years and years and years and years. And you have to be a hundred percent in or you need to be a hundred percent out. And don't get me wrong. This isn't me saying like, hey, I think make money online courses are a scam or anything like that. I think they have their place. I think they can do a lot of good for people. I think if people, uh, if, the, if the niche were allowed to actually become more regulated in a way, I think it could back, actually get back to a level of normal where the polarizing marketing could actually come down and balance with the, uh, the goals of the programs that are being sold. I also think HCOM, I'm extremely proud of it. The results it delivered, the things it did for people, that community, it's incredible. It's incredible what we accomplished there. And through accomplishing that, I learned that one of the greatest challenges you can ever undertake in business is teaching people and, and, and changing a person into a person uh, that completely changes their lifestyle and who they are. Because going from being a person that's not an entrepreneur to an entrepreneur or any big change in your life, going from being an average person uh, to a top performing person, which is what you need to be if you want to be a, a successful entrepreneur, that's the challenge. The biggest challenge in the make money online niche isn't finding the right tactic to teach people. You can actually teach people basic tactics. This is the big confusion. The biggest challenge to make money online niche is changing the person. If you can change the person, if you can teach them how to make their bed, they will become successful. But the thing is, that's not what people want. And that's not what people buy. And that's not what most sellers understand. And frankly, that just creates a huge weird thing in this niche that I, I really don't like about it. And at HCOM, the way we actually got the best results was not by adding more training or content. It was constantly working on the people and working on how they viewed the world and all that stuff. And that is a completely 24 seven year in year out job. And I said, you know, I've been, I've been all in this for a while. I can't be all in this anymore. I have to go. I have to go because in order to truly serve the customer, you have to be all in on it. And I was like, I don't, I don't think I'm all in anymore. So I just cut it all off. I'm not going to sell courses. I'm not going to sell something where I'm not hundred percent all in and improving the person's life. But the thing is a lot of people don't understand that challenge in the niche. They don't understand that they're trying to, they need to change the person in the amount of effort it takes to do that. And so I feel that niche in that combined with all the other things I'm about to talk about. It's trending in a wrong direction. It doesn't need to go in. And in order to constantly fight this direction, because the make money online niche is very weird. It will constantly trend in this race to the bottom direction with its marketing and the people that are, are in it. I'm not saying everybody in it is bad. I'm saying that there's always someone who's willing to um, drag it down or force it in this direction for profit. And because of that, in order to combat that, it, it has to be your life's work. It has to be your life's work or you're not going to be able to combat that. And it's, it's not good if you're not actively combating that. Let me explain. 
this in a little bit more detail because this problem in the make money online niche, I believe is there, it comes from the market and what people want. And it also comes from the sellers. And the bad thing about it is it forces the sellers in a bad position. And it also forces the customers in a bad position when this isn't completely addressed. Let me explain. So what works in make money online is exactly what you think works in make money online. And when it comes to the marketing standpoint, when it comes to the product and actually getting people results and changing them, it's completely different than what you think. It's not about glam. It's not about anything. It's about teaching someone how to make their bed and stop eating cake. Okay. If you can, if you can fix it, I'll, I'll get into this here in a second, but that's not what people buy. What people are attracted to and make money online is private jets, cars, glam, huge, outrageous numbers, big, huge income claims. That's what they're into. That is what they buy. And the problem with this is, for example, when I first got into the niche, it was really weird because if you had a product that taught people how to make an extra 30 bucks a day, it was a home run. People freaked out. Making $100 a day more uh, using SEO, doing Google AdSense, that was a home run. Okay, and I want you to compare that to what's in the niche right now. Probably the ads that you might see on my videos, other people's videos. If you're not promising or you're not, <clears throat> if, if people are not making 10,000 a month, 100,000 a month, if you're not making millions and millions and millions of dollars, it doesn't even register on the radar. And it's a lot like, it's like the niche just becomes more and more desensitized um, because what happens is in order to capture attention, because what people respond to is the loudness and the hyperbole. They respond to the Lamborghinis. They respond to the crazy images. They respond to the crazy marketing. And in order to get attention in marketing, you have to take it to the next level. So like when I first got started, if you could just show, you know, 50 bucks a day AdSense account, people freaked out. Now we get into the age of Ty Lopez, where if you're not showing eight Lamborghinis, a giant house, $50,000 a day in paychecks, you're not even, you're not even considered successful or worth paying attention to because someone's always going to take the next level and the next level and the next level of ridiculousness. So first off, you start with a guy that's maybe wearing a suit. Then you have a guy next to a Lamborghini. Then you have a guy next to a private jet. Then you have a guy, um, with Dan Blazerian, like it just doesn't stop. It's, it's a race to the bottom to get the customer's attention because that's what the customer is paying attention to. Trust me, if the customer were paying attention to, hey, here's how to make like a realistic business in a year's time frame and learn the skill sets to become a good entrepreneur, that's what people would sell. But they can't sell that because of the race to the bottom. There's always a person who's willing to take it to the next level, um, hyperbole wise and also marketing wise. The reason why, the other problem I have with it is, is marketers have to keep making their sales tactics more and more and more and more and more aggressive because in order to compete in the niche, there's really nothing in the niche besides marketing. Okay. If you look at almost any other product in your house that you've ever bought, look at any other product you've ever bought, you probably didn't buy it from an ad. But if you look at start a business products, 90% of those sales come from ads. It's almost all marketing and niche is completely based on marketing and sales. And because of that, the marketing and sales is constantly one upping each other. It's constantly one upping each other. And in order to make your ads and your business to survive in that niche, you have to constantly be taking your ads to the brink of, of marketing. And it's not always the best for the customer. No customer likes long upsell funnels. No customer likes the really high prices that you have to charge for courses to make the business work. The reason why infopreneurs are charging $2,000, $5,000 for their courses is that's the only way to make it work with ads. You can't charge it. You can't sell a $99 course or a $47 course and make it work with advertising. In this video, I'm not defending or supporting the marketing tactics in a niche. What I am saying is you need to understand that the reason why sellers behave and sell the way they do is because that's the only way to actually make it work in the niche. There's no way to have a low hyperbole product and a low priced product if you don't already have a huge following. So for example, like Graham Stephen has a massive organic following, so he can be a little bit more low key with his ads. Marketers that are based around um, purely ad traffic, that's not the case right there. And so one of the reasons why I got out is because I'm like, I'm not going to the next level anymore. I'm not going to charge th this for a make money online product. I'm not going, I'm not going to push it to this brink right here. I'm that's it. Um, and one of the reasons why I never really scaled H come to the next level is because the way you have to scale some of these businesses is you have to then have a $25,000 product and then this product and this product. And I'm not against that. I am totally against it. If you're not a hundred and billion percent in which I was not. And I didn't want, I didn't want to be charging a beginner $25,000 for a product. I just, I 
did not want to do that. And I don't want to be charging more for procs. And I saw the trend where the market's going and I'm like, I'm not going to fight that. I'm not going to spend my time combating that or pushing myself to limits I'm not comfortable going toward. And I saw what I would have to do to keep the business growing and going. I have to get more Lamborghinis or I have to get more hyperbole or I have to deliver more crazy results and I have to make more crazy funnel. And it's just, I'm just, no. I'm not. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to shift into a business where it's purely product focused and I could almost grow it through word of mouth because that's that's what I wanted to do. And so that's one of the reasons why I got out of the make money online niche because it, it, if it's your life work, you can make this work because you can take a really long term approach with your ads. You can slow down the hyperbole. You can super duper duper focus on what the customer needs and you can grow through word of mouth too. You can very you can slow down. You don't have to, you don't have to keep uh, one upping or in this case right here, down upping every other marketer on there. You don't have to keep getting more and more outrageous with what you're doing because you can take really long term approaches like Tony Robbins or Brennan Butchard, for example, um, or like Russell Brunson, for example, you can take really long term approaches where you're not really focused on money up front and you can focus on the ways to grow the business the right way and then wait a few years almost to make money. That's how a business should be grown. And that's not how most make money online entrepreneurs grow their business. The way a business should be grown is you wait a year or two to make some money. Um, you keep working on the product, you keep refining it and you build the audience, you build the word of mouth and then you go from there. And that's something you cannot do unless this is your life's work. There's, there's no way you're going to wait one to two years to make money unless this is your life's work. Teaching people how to make money online was not my life's work. So I'm not pooping on any people in the niche. I'm saying exactly, if you wanna make money uh, in the first month of your ads or whatever, you have to keep going down this, this one up level with the marketing. I just wasn't willing to do that. And then finally, as I've worked with so many people, I've worked with so many businesses, and I personally believe that the number one way to help people is not with tactics, it's by teaching them how to make their bed. And also one of my goals when I was in the Make Money Online niche was help people help people and our products help people. And what I actually learned from these products is what actually benefited people most. What benefited people most is teaching them how to think as a, a player person, how to make their bed, how to eat the right foods, how to keep a good work schedule, how to think and view the world the right way. If you can fix those things, the person's going to be successful with any tactic, even if they find free tactics online. I'm not saying don't buy courses, but the way you make a course work is you first must change the person. You must change them into a winner for lack of better words. The main reason why people don't get results is not because they have the wrong tactics, it's because they can't put in a solid three hours of focused work on anything. They can't do anything consistently in their life. They can't drop bad things. They can't drop negative habits. They can't develop a work ethic. And their brains are just completely messed up. And I talk about this so much in the channel, I'm not gonna do it right here. But if you fix that, then the courses, any course they buy will work. A $2,000 course then is going to get them a huge ROI, a huge ROI. But until you fix that, it's not gonna help. And so I do enjoy helping. I do enjoy helping people. And so one of the things I wanted to do is just say, dude, I can just, I can help people 10 times more just with my YouTube channel, okay? And so if you, if I wanna keep helping people on the side and like helping people start business, the best thing I can do is teach people how to make their beds on YouTube. That's what helped me the most. That's what helped me see the light. And so, you know, I'm not gonna have a make your bed course coming up here or anything like that. I'm just gonna put what I know and the lessons I learned about my business on YouTube. And I can accomplish that same goal at the same time. And, and I can do that without owing anybody anything. I can just put these videos up and because you're viewing them for free, I don't owe you anything. I don't owe you anything. You just get massive benefit from my videos and there we go. So I'm not tied into it. I'm not locked into it. I can stop making the videos whenever I want. And if I want to make something that helps people, I can just do it in my free time for pure fun, for pure fun. Again, anybody watching this channel, you're not the demographic for high roast. We do get a few high risk customers. I do get a few iron customers, but unless you're spending at least 20,000 a month on ads, which is 0.001% of people who watch this channel, you're not really a good fit for those businesses. And that's okay. Cause I do this channel for fun and to increase my reach. So I can approach CEOs like Nathan that we talked to the other week, or I can reach out to influencers and get them on high roast. That's also a good incentive for me too. So that being said, guys, I just wanted to kind of lay this out. So you can kind of look and think about how you're going to structure your life when you start making money or if you're already making money and really how to think about, you know, what am I going to do with my life? That's the big point of the video. What am I going to do with my life? How am I going to attack it? What's important to me? Because life is too short to not do what's important to you. It's too short to focus on a business purely around money.
And in order to build the best business possible, it has to be something you are 110% committed in or any business model out there, not just make money online, is going to have that race to the bottom. Unless you are willing to take the longest of longest term approach to your business, it's not going to reach the potential you want to get to. And it's not worth taking that longest of longest approach unless you're in it out of love and obsession. It's just not worth it. At the high rows, for example, it took almost a year and a half to get profitable, but I don't regret it at all. It was a blast the entire time. I, I am working for something over a 20 year period instead of a month, the month period. That's what I'm trying to point out to you here. So that's it guys. Let me know your feedback in this video. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Cause what I do with the courses I used to sell in the past, if you do like subscribe and hit the notification button, I can target you on AdWords and I just give away the courses for free. to the few people that see those ads. I only spend a couple bucks a day on it. So their ads are very rare, but be sure to go subscribe, hit the notification bell and like, and you will eventually see the ads. So that's it guys. This is a really personal video for me and I'll see you next time I upload. Take it easy.